Hi boys and girls, Mr. Wassman, and today we are going to be looking at uh, the rounding of large digit numbers. Uh, in order to round a number, we have to have a pretty good idea about place value. And uh, before we get into that, let's just talk about the concept of rounding in general, because sometimes in math, uh, an estimate will do, meaning that we don't need an exact answer to solve a problem or to come up with an answer to a question. Uh, so let's first take a look at that uh, problem number one. It says, complete the number lines, plot the numbers on the number lines, and then use them to help you round the numbers. So let's zoom in a little bit. It says, round 4,698 to the nearest thousand. And now that place value is going to be important to remember, thousand. So a thousand, one thousand, is a one with three zeros behind it. So that's good to know. So the number we're looking at here, 4,698, well, that, too, has four digits in its place value, okay? We have a 4, a 6, a 9, and an 8, okay? So I need to think about between what two groups of 1,000 uh, does 4,698 live? So... I start with the number in the thousands place value. That's four. So I know that it's at least as big as 4,000. Okay? So I'm going to write 4,000 here in this space where it says lower number. Now, what comes after four? Well, of course, it's five. So I'm going to put 5,000 over here that comma. Now then, what comes between 4,000 and 5,000? Okay, that's the tricky part. So I'm going to actually use a different model. That's the roller coaster. If you've ever been on a roller coaster, a roller coaster uh, usually starts out... Uh, especially ones that are built for speed. You climb up the mountain, up, 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 till you get to the top of the first hill. And as soon as that uh, car starts peeking over the other end of that hill, gravity starts to take hold, and it pulls the roller coaster uh, down the hill with a lot of uh, velocity and a lot of speed. So when I'm thinking about rounding, I need to know what is the top of that hill that's the halfway mark, okay? So the halfway mark would be splitting 1,000 in half. So what is 1,000 split in half? Well, 1,000 is basically 10 groups of 100, and if I split 10 in half, 10 is simply 5 plus 5. So if I split 1,000 in half, I need to know what two groups of the same number added together would give me 1,000. Well, 10 times 100 gives me 1,000. So if I had 5 times 100, that would give me 500. So 1 half of 1,000 is 500. So we're always looking for the 5 as being the halfway mark. So let's go back to this model. What's the halfway mark between 4,000 and 5,000? Well, the halfway mark would be 4,500. That's the halfway point. So whenever I'm rounding a number to the nearest place value, I look for the place value just behind it to the right, and, and the 5 is the halfway point. So my halfway point between 4,000 and 5,000 is 4,500. So if this is the halfway point, I have to go back and look at my number, 4,698. Well, 4,698 would be somewhere right over here, because 6 
is bigger than 5, so 4,600 would be more than 4,500. So when I'm thinking about rounding, I need to ask myself, on which side does my uh, number live? Does it live on a side that's closer to the 4 or closer to the 5? Well, 4,698 is, is closer to here, this side, than it is all the way over there. So my answer would be it rounds up to 5,000. So right here I would write 5,000. Thousand rounds up to five thousand. So again, if I use that roller coaster model, four thousand six hundred and ninety-eight. That's ha way past the halfway point. If I was a roller coaster car, dragging other roller coaster cars behind me, gravity would be pulling me down the hill to the next place value. Four thousand six hundred and ninety-eight rounds up to five thousand. Okay. Now that's in thousands place value. Now number two asks you to round to the nearest ten. So with uh, when we're looking at tens, okay, that's a completely different model. So let's get some space down here. So what is another ten? Ten plus ten is twenty. Okay, so what would be the halfway point between 10 and 20? Well, that would be 15, or 5 more than 10, 5 less than 20. So if I was rounding a number that fell between 10 and 20, the halfway point would be 15, or a 10 with 5 ones. Now, I want to look at the number 5,778. 5,778. 78 is my tens digit. So the thousands and the hundreds, I'm just going to ignore for a little bit. I don't have to worry about them. I'm just looking at the tens. So when I round my number, what I need to do is I need to think about what number does 78 fall between. Well, 78 starts with a 7, so 7 tens would be my low number. And then... 8 comes after 7, so 8 tens would be the next highest 10, and then the halfway mark would be 7 tens and 5 ones. Again, I'm looking for that 5. That's the halfway mark right there. Okay, 78, of course, is going to be a lot closer to 80, so it's going to round up to 80. So if you think about going to that roller coaster, once you get to the 78 point on that hill, you're practically there, just coasting into the next place value. So, 5,770, the next place value is 5,780, the halfway point is 5,775, and then my number would live somewhere over here, 5,770. Eight. Put a little count there. And so if I was to round to the nearest ten, not thousand, but ten, I would round to this number right here, which is 5,780. Go ahead and try some more of these problems on your own. Use that uh, roller coaster model to help you uh, determine which side of the roller coaster hill your number would roll to. Uh, if you have questions, feel free to ask me. Otherwise, we will talk again soon. Thank you.